Probably the most important thing that you can do to protect yourself and your family is to choose a beach to swim at that has lifeguards on duty. If you feel that you're in trouble, flip onto your back, float, raise a hand up in the air and they'll come to, the, to your aid. It'll also help you and the lifeguards on duty if you understand why they have chosen to put their flags in a certain position and why they might move you and the flags during the course of a day on the beach. Rip currents cause so many drownings because many people simply don't know how to recognize them. Rip currents are formed because the water is brought into the beach as waves and then it needs to get back out to sea. So what happens is the water runs sideways parallel to the beach, digging sand out as it goes, forming a feeder rip. It depends on the structure of the beach, but at some point it'll turn out to sea, forming a deep channel as it flows out, eroding sand with it as it goes. So what do you do if you're caught in a rip? The most important thing to do is not to panic. Conserve your strength. A rip current will not pull you under the water. It will only take you out to where the waves are forming, the back line, and there it runs out of power. If you're a strong swimmer, think of it like a river. To escape, you would not turn and swim against the flow. You would swim to the side of the river, to the banks. And in the case of a rip current, that means swimming parallel to the beach until you are out of the rip. Then use the waves over the sandbank to surf back to shore. The key for a person's survival is for the emergency services to get to that person as soon as possible. Unless you are a trained rescue swimmer who has rescue equipment and flotation with you, it's very dangerous to get into the water and try to rescue someone. Do not do this. It could lead to two people drowning. The best thing that you can do is to throw something that floats into the rip current, perhaps a soccer ball or a buoy board. The rip will carry it out to that person and they can use it as flotation. You should then call for help. The first line of defense are the lifeguards. They can help you very, very quickly. Surfers with surfboards, fantastic. They can also help. They understand rip currents and how the waves work and can safely help somebody while the emergency services respond.